Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. So from this video, we are going to discuss about SQL agent in uh, LangChain. So this is really powerful tool we have with LangChain. So basically with this, we can talk to our databases with uh, natural languages. So querying databases with natural language is uh, not actually something new. There were several attempts uh, with language models, especially with the models such as T5 uh, in the literature. So, but uh, it can be said that uh, it was not very much uh, successful with the uh, previous attempts. So previously the approach uh, was to fine tune a language model with a large number of natural language and SQL statement pairs with uh, the sequence to sequence uh, classification heads. So this was not uh, much uh, powerful. So because uh, with the syntaxes and all, it uh, often get uh, inaccurate results. But thanks to GPT models, we can do that really efficient uh, manner now. So another specialty uh, here is that it can talk to multiple tables and execute even join operations to get uh, our results. So this is really uh, powerful. So let's jump into our notebook. So uh, this is our notebook. So let's uh, go through it. So firstly, we have to install uh, various libraries we need. So I will be installing the LangChain, OpenAI, and PyMySQL libraries. And then here I am in, uh, I'm, uh, mounting the Google Drive. So I'm doing this because I'm loading the database file from uh, my Google Drive. So other than that, we can give database credentials and directly connect with the uh, the database as well. So if uh, we are doing that, we don't need to uh, mount to Google Drive. Next, uh, we have to give our open AI key. And then uh, basically we have to import these libraries, which we will be using uh, in this not notebook. So I will be uh, importing the create SQL agent, SQL database toolkit, and open AI, uh, et cetera. So here uh, I will be using this database to test out these uh, SQL capabilities with LangChain and OpenAI. So this is a little bit of complex database. It has many tables and they have been connected each other. So I will be trying out uh, various queries that uh, are required to be talking to many tables in order to uh, build the answers. All right, so uh, in the database, uh, we can connect in multiple ways. So this is a common way we can connect our database with the SQL database in LangChain. So we can give the user password, host and name, and then create a URI like this, and then connect with the database. So that is one way. Other than that, uh, we can actually load a database file, .db file uh, from uh, our drive or somewhere in our uh, computer and then uh, we can create a URI like this and then we can uh, load it as well. All right, uh, next we have to uh, get uh, the open AI. So I will be importing the chat open AI, the chat model, and I will be using the GPT 3.5 turbo model that we are using for the chat GPT. Uh, then uh, if you have access to the GPT 4, you can use that as well. Uh, next, I will be uh, defining the toolkit. So here we will be using the SQL database toolkit. So here we need to give two uh, parameters. The first one is the database. So here we have defined our database. So I'm giving that. And then I have to use the uh, language model. Then uh, we have to create the agent executor. So create SQL agent. So that is the function we are using. We, here also we have to give the language model and then the toolkit is the SQL database uh, toolkit. And then I will also enable verbos so that we can uh, see how this uh, thinking process is going on. All right, so let's query this uh, database with natural language. So in order to forward our natural language queries, uh, we need to call the agent executor.run and then we can give our queries in the natural language. So as the first query, I'm uh, giving this, describe the cracks 
uh, table. So the tracks table is uh, one of the tables we have in our database. So this is a little bit of complex uh, database with uh, multiple uh, tables. So this is the particular table that I am querying. So I ask it to describe what is this table, what are the columns and etc. So this is how it works. So it uh, actually runs the agent executor. So as we understood from the previous videos, this lang chain executor actually doing some iterative process. It does various thoughts and observations and based on that, it comes to the final uh, answer. So as the first thing, what it does is it uh, lists all the tables in this database. As you can see, as the observation we have, media types, invoices, playlist, album, and etc. So these are the various tables we have. And then uh, it finds for the tracks table. So that's what I asked it to uh, describe. So likewise, it uh, do this thing in process and do the trial and error. And uh, it uh, tries to find what are the columns in this database and running these uh, pragma operations and all then it is coming up with this final answer. The cracks table has nine columns, crack ID, name, album ID, media type ID, et cetera. And likewise, so it comes with the, some explanation about this uh, cracks table. So pretty impressive. So next I will be uh, running this query. Uh, so here I'm asking find top five tracks with highest unique prices. So the unit prices actually have been in a different tables. So the track information have been in different tables. So definitely uh, this need to join these various tables in order to get this answer. So let's see how uh, this faces this kind of queries. So again, it starts with listing all the tables in our database, and then uh, it's trying to come up with something like this. So it do the trial and uh, error. So it finds, so the FRAX information in these FRAX tables, and then the unit price is available in these invoice items table. And then uh, it finds, so select the track name, invoice items dot unit price from FRAX join invoice items. And then it uh, select these columns need to be uh, used when doing the uh, joining. And also uh, this little bit more complex, I need to find the highest unit prices as well. So we need to do the order operation as well. So likewise, these kind of complex uh, operations uh, are even capable with this uh, agent executor, SQ, SQL agent executor. So likewise, it also do this thinking process and it validate its own results and trying to find the correct column names. So that is again, something impressive. It tries to uh, find uh, various mistakes with the column names and try to uh, correct those mistakes by itself, uh, talking to uh, itself and come up with the correct column names and come up with the uh, final answer. So the top five cracks with the highest unit prices are uh, like this. So it's pretty impressive. Uh, it giving correct answers. It can talk to multiple tables and do the join operations, do ordering and stuff. So, it is a really impressive. So here also I'm giving something similar, top five album titles with uh, longest uh, songs. So the same thing happens. It uh, connects various tables and try to come up with the, uh, the correct answer. All right, so uh, it's working really well. So you can also try out uh, your databases with this uh, SQL agent in Langchain and uh, see how uh, it goes and please make sure to comment uh, on how well it uh, works in your databases as well. So for this tutorial, actually I use this example database. This is also a little bit complex. It need to, kind of, it is really pretty much uh, denormalized. So we need, it need to connect with various tables to grab an uh, answer. So uh, yes, so the link to this notebook, I will also put in uh, the YouTube video description. So please make sure to subscribe uh, my channel to see uh, more of this kind of uh,
So thank you for watching and see you from the uh, next video.